I don't really know what to call this one, so let's just go with the freeze frame title. All right, so I have some footage in my timeline. What I'm gonna do before I start getting crazy with this, I'm just gonna come in and, and call it real quick. Now let's go back and actually edit this shot. So maybe I have to put a title in here. So I'm gonna put my title in, like right here, right before she puts her glasses on. So since it's a freeze frame, I'm going to cut and then cut one more time. So I have one frame in here and then I'm going to go into change clip speed and then just click freeze frame. And then this particular part will just be a freeze frame. So now let's, um, so we're right now we're at one second, eight frames. So let's go to uh, two seconds, eight frames. So that's one solid second. Um, let's actually do a little bit more than that. So I feel like it's gonna be, need, or I need it to be a little longer. Uh, but the other thing that you don't really wanna do is you don't wanna move, you don't wanna move around this edge you want it to stay the same because then it'll be the same frame. So it just pauses and then it continues. So you don't want to move around that edge. All right, so now this is where my title is going to be. So I'm just going to right click on this, add new Fusion Connect clip. I'll click on that and then add a clip, clip in and it'll process and then open Fusion. For the effect that you've seen, I uh, am going to make her separate from the background. So I'm just going to click on my video clip here. I'm going to control C to copy and control V to paste. And what happens is I have another copy and then a merge. And it actually didn't do it correctly, but so it should be coming out into here and then this should be coming into here okay so like that so now I need to now I have two separate so I can crop her and then do something separate with the background I'm going to just move these around because of where they're connected this the uh, green is actually going to be on top and then the yellow will be on the bottom so I want to um, make sure that this is down here just to make it a little easier and then this will be on top. For this shot here, I'm just going to make this a little easier to see. I'm going to add in a color corrector. I'm just gonna reconnect this to the yellow and then the output to the yellow. So it's like that. And then we can just pick a color. And then um, for this shot, I'm going to add another tool. I'm gonna to come down to mask and then do polygon. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to bring it above and then connect the output to the uh, blue. So now it's connected like that. Now we just see all red because we're only seeing this bottom layer. So what we have to do is we have to make our uh, mask around her. So right now we're clicked on this node up here and we are going to zoom in and to zoom in, you're gonna hold your control and then mouse wheel in. So I'm just gonna click here at the top of her head, click on the side and I'm gonna drag to have it wrap around her head, holding my mouse wheel in to move around the frame, come here, work my way around. Now there's a lot of hair in here you just kind of do your uh, do your best to go around and be pretty close to the hair, but you're gonna have a lot of like uh, pieces of hair that are gonna be just all over the place. So you have to kind of be cautious of that and work around it. All right, so that's one half of her body. I'm gonna bring it over to her bag over here. Whoa, zoom in, down. 
And I don't have to, you don't have to be perfect because this is gonna be so short. I'd rather spend more time on making it look cool than to uh, make sure that I'm perfectly around her. If you're working on a $100 million film, that's a different story. And then connect up here. Now that we've connected, we can go around and we can move some of these spots if I want to. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of leave it because I think it's good enough. All right, so now I have her. I have her um, on this node and then down here I have the background. So if I wanted to in this color corrector, I could uh, maybe a little less red, I don't know. All right, so let's just add some text in here. I'll hit shift space and type in text. And then I just want to do the regular text. I don't want to do the 3D text. And then in my text, I'm going to put uh, life of the party. All right, she's the life of the party. And let's change the font. And the cool thing, because I'm doing it to the background, is right now you can see it's actually behind her. So there's that cool effect so far. Um, and then let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, so that's my title. I mean, you could have a name, you know, you could have whatever you want. She's the life of the party, so we'll just have that. And, um, all right, so let's add some animation into the uh, the font here. So I'm right now I'm at frame zero, and I'm just going to click this button twice to center. Okay, right now we're on layout, and I'm going to just bring it over here. Okay, and then let's say frame 13. I just want it to slide in, so I'm just going to pick this arrow over here. So that, that's all that happens is it slides in over to here. So now if we play this, it comes in, life of the party. All right, that looks okay, but I actually want to um, have it come in a little smoother. So I'm going to click on the path and then click on this node and hit F. So it smooths it out a little bit like that. And now if we play this, it comes in and it like smooths out just a little bit. And I'm actually going to have this come in a couple of frames, maybe this over as well. So like that, Let's see how it looks now. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, let's go back to flow. Um, what else could I add in here? I could add maybe like a highlight, like a shimmer that go whoosh. Let's, so let's do that. So I'll add in, um, I'll in a background node, and the background node will just be maybe uh, like a white. So it'll just be like a bright white, and then to the background node, I'll add in a. rectangle so I have my rectangle here and I want to for my rectangle let's change this up a little bit so it's like like that um, maybe change the angle so it comes in on an angle and then uh, we'll just stretch it out and add a soft edge and actually let's come back into here and make this brighter. Like that, come back into here, soften that edge a little bit, maybe like that. Okay, so I also want to add, for this, I want to add uh, movement, so you know, it goes across. So, to do that, Moving this around, we see right here, these are moving. So I'm going to come back to, let's start it at frame two maybe. So we'll double click right here to keyframe it. And I'll move it up here. And then maybe frame 
Uh, we started at two, so we'll go to 10, so it's 10, 10 frame thing. And we'll bring it over here. So let's see what happens. Okay. So that might work. All right, so what else can we add in here? Let's have her like get a little bigger, just a little bit. We don't want to overdo it. We just want her to get a little bigger. So let's click on her video clip and shift space bar. And then we will, um, we will get a transform because we're going to be transforming it. And we'll start at frame zero. Now remember she's going to, uh, once it cuts from where the frame stopped, when the freeze frame starts, she's going to be that size. So let's just start it, start it there. So we'll just click on size and we'll just have it start there. And then by the end of this, let's just have her maybe uh, 0 0.02. So it's just a small little bit. Okay, life of the party. So that's kind of the, the idea there. I think that that, that kind of works, right? Um, one other thing that I think I'm going to do is the edge. I wanna smooth that out. So let's come into my uh, polygon and we'll just do a soft edge on here just so it isn't so sharp. See, that's where it was. And if we just add a little bit of a soft edge, I think that will definitely help out. I think that's good. Let's just leave it. Uh, we could add, you know, you could add a lot more. You could change the colors. Maybe the background, we don't have it so strong. Come up here, but then drop down the saturation a little bit. Once you're done with this, you could add in more text if you wanted to and have it come in from different directions. It's just the same exact thing. You would just add uh, depending on where you want it, you could add another merge and another text, but yeah. So let's say that we're, we're content with where this is currently at. We'll just click render, start render. So what it's going to do is it's going to render out all the frames that are here, which are 35, and then it's going to spit that back into DaVinci. So we hit okay, we minimize, and then now we have this. So let's take a look at this. Okay, I think that I'm going to cut a little bit of this off because there isn't much going on. So I would say like, hmm, like here-ish, I'm just going to cut. And what I also want to do, bring in one from the other. So what I mean by that is I'm just going to move this over and then I was saying not to do this before where I'm just gonna come in one frame and then I'm going to cut that one frame and with just your uh, cut tool, cut one frame and I'm going to right click on this and freeze frame. Now this is the same frame that this is. So I'm just going to freeze frame. I'm going to unlink these, I'm going to unlink these and then just delete this, bring this under and stretch this out. And then we can reconnect this to the end and this should still be the same. Okay, it is. And then what I can do for this shot is I'm going to take it down to zero, add a keyframe, one, two, three frames, bring it in, and then I'll do the same at this end. Um, I'm gonna bring it down to zero, keyframe it, one, two, three, bring this up to 100%. Now let's see how this looks. I think that I think that that came out pretty good. Now let's just add a little bit of I think adding a little bit of uh, potentially like some type of music or right there we could have a little sound effect. So let's let's find a sound effect real quick. All right, I struggle. <laughs> I can't find it. I can't. I don't have a good sound effect. I would have to go online to get one. But here's what I come up with. Here's what I've come up with. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, this helps or helps someone. 
Let me know in the comments what do you think about this tutorial. If you have any suggestions, let me know down there as well. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.